An official kickoff is the iconic cowboy breakfast coming up this week. Joining us to talk about this more is Mark Cross, owner of Jordan Ford and truck Chuck Christian, vice chairman of the Cowboy Breakfast. Good morning to you both. Good, Good morning. morning. Welcome. Good morning. So for people who are new to San Antonio, can you first share about the history of the Cowboy Breakfast? Boy, you know, we, we started at, at Central Park Mall to um, welcome the trail riders coming into San Antonio that morning at the kickoff the Stock Show and Rodeo, serving breakfast. And uh, it just took off. The public started coming. It was It's an outdoor event. We have live music now. We've probably done over a million tacos. We've um, over a quarter of a million biscuits and gravy. Uh, I mean, the list just goes on and on. Uh, we've had sponsors such as Pioneer from the very beginning that have helped make this event just phenomenal. Wow, and how many people are you expecting? I mean, with that much food, you've got to be expecting a lot of people. Uh, you will easily at least 30,000, 40,000 people. Wow. That's fantastic. And families come out. It's a family event. It's 100% free, uh, free parking. We got some shuttles running from uh, Rialto Theater. Um, and then we've got biscuits and gravy. We have uh, kielbasa sausage, uh, five different varieties of tacos, uh, butter crust, um, flour bakery helps us with some bakery items. We have Oak Farms Dairy comes out and they bring a couple of trucks full of milk and juice and just every, it's just a big, nice family event. And this wouldn't be possible without volunteers. Are you still looking for help? Yes, of course. We're always needing help to put this thing on and uh, we have about 150 to 200 volunteers that make this possible. And uh, anyone that wants to come out, we have a volunteer tent. And just come on out and sign up and come pull your sleeves up and help make some tacos. Nice. And there's a kickoff event happening beforehand, correct? Uh, Thursday morning, we, we serve about, we make about 1,500 tacos. Uh, we take them to all the media. And then also we go and uh, serve uh, breakfast to the Wounded Warriors out at Bamsey. And we've got nice. information on the screen there where it's happening and do you go online or you just show up? You said just show up if you want to help out. You can just show up. We do have a sign in over on our website, thecowboybreakfast.com, but uh, anyone wanting to help out that morning, just come on out. Excellent, and that's for, for Friday, but also for Thursday. Can people come out and help out for that as well? Yes, uh, Thursday we need help setting up for the event itself. Um, you know, setting up tables, chairs, and getting all the cooking equipment lined up. Uh, we start cooking Friday morning at one o'clock. Oh, and, wow. uh, we got, <laughs> start for you. Yes, uh, we, we have uh, families coming in from out of town that are lined up usually at 3.30 in the morning. Second and third generation families. It's, it's such a wonderful event and, and it couldn't be possible without our main sponsor, Jordan Ford. Thank you. Oh, we're, nice. we're really looking forward to it. We've been around 100 years. We've been doing this for 11 years. We'll have 25 employees coming out there at uh, 4.30 in the morning to cook breakfast tacos. And, you know, Andrew, you said a few minutes ago that it might be bad weather on Friday, but I'm going to tell you what, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to tell you what, if it's bad weather, it's even more fun because you feel like a cowboy if it's a little cold. And, <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. And well, rain, the good, you know, the so. good news is the rain will be moving out then, so I think, I think y'all should have a good time out there. That's great. Mark and Chuck, thank you very much.